In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to convert your database from MSSQL server database to MySQL. So I have my MSSQL server databases right here on MSSQL server management studio. And I have my MySQL databases here open in MySQL Workbench. So how do I convert or migrate these databases from MSSQL server to MySQL? I'm going to show you in a few minutes. And in the previous tutorial, I showed you how to migrate from MySQL to MSSQL server. You can find the link to this tutorial in the description of this video. So let's go ahead to get started. Now I'm going to show you how to migrate the tables and the stored procedures. And of course, this applies to every other object in this database. So let's take a look at the tutorial DB. It has some tables, as you can see. It also has some stored procedures. Uh, so let's look at the stored procedures, program programmability stored procedures, you can see. And if it has views, we will also migrate. But for now, let's focus on the objects available. Again, if this tutorial is being informative for you, please subscribe to my channel. Please uh, hit the subscribe button below so that you get notified when I make new lessons. And also like this video by clicking on that like button below. And also um, leave me a comment if this has been informative for you. Okay, so tutorial DB to migrate it, you right click and go to tasks and go to generate scripts. In the generate scripts wizard, you go next and it's going to enumerate your objects. It's always better to migrate it uh, by objects. In this case, we are going to migrate our tables first. I'm going to select tables and it's, it's going to select all the tables in this database. I'm going to click on next and I will save to the clipboard and I'm going to click on next, next and it's going to generate all the scripts for the database objects we selected. I'm going to click on finish. I'm going now to MSSQL and I will, to MySQL, sorry, and I'm going to go to new query. There's one step you need to take before you run this query because this script does not include the actual database generation. So I'm going to just create the schema by clicking on create schema and call it tutorial DB. And I'm going to click on apply and say apply. Now I have the tutorial DB created, as you can see, it's empty. So we want to create all those tables in here. So what I'm going to do now is to click on SQL query, this icon, new SQL query, and I'm going to paste this, this um, script on my clipboard right here. Now this script is, is created based on the MySQL dialect. So if I try to run, it's actually not going to run. So I'm going to, we have to find a better way to actually execute the script. So what I'm going to do is to simply convert this script to, from MSSQL to MySQL. So to do that, I'm going to open Google, actually going to open ChatGPT, and I'm going to simply type a command that says convert to MySQL, and I'm going to simply right click and paste the script on my clipboard and hit the enter key. Now it's going to generate this script in MySQL, but if you are using GPT 3.5, there's one more step you need to take. If you are using 4.0, no problem, you can simply copy the generated script. Script, But if you are using 3.5, there's one more step we need to take. And this step is going to ensure that the primary keys are not null. So, are not null. so I'm going to just tell it to ensure that the keys are not null. So once you uh, enter this command, so it's going to ensure that the script, the, the keys are not null because if the keys are allowed to be null, then the query is going to fail. Let's wait for it to generate, so it generates. So let's try to copy this and paste. So I'm going to copy this code and I'm going to MySQL Workbench and hopefully this time it will work. So we are in tutorial DB and I'm going to right click and just paste. Okay, so let me clear this log here and let's see what happens. So I'm going to just click on this to execute the script. 
So right now you can see that the scripts uh, is a cute and you can see that it created all the objects. If we go to tutorial DB and then refresh all, we see our tables. Right here, all the tables are created exactly as we needed uh, from MS SQL. Now, how do we migrate the procedures? You can see stored procedures is supported in MySQL. In MS SQL, stored procedures are also supported. And if we go to programmability, we can see stored procedures, a number of them, five, I think. So to migrate them, I'm going to right click and say uh, tasks. I'm going to click on generate scripts. This time I'm going next. And this time I'm going to select and it's going to be start procedures. I'm going to simply click on next. I'm also going to save to the clipboard. I'm going to click on next. And it's going to generate the script to the clipboard. So I'm going to close the wizard. Now I will go back to GPT and I will ask it to transform to MySQL. So trans, is it trans or convert? Convert to MySQL. And I'm going to go ahead to paste what is on my clipboard and I'm going to ask it to run the commands to convert. Now for start procedures, we are not able to batch all of them in one script. Um, I think if you are using GPT-4, it might be able to do that for you. But for GPT-3.5, uh, so let me try to ask it to put everything in one script. Um, can you place all, all the codes? in one script. Uh, so let's see, yes, so it does it. So be, but the question is, will it work? Uh, yes, yeah. so let's try to see if this works. If it works, fine. If not, then we are going to take it one after the other. So I'm going to copy this. And let me just check to make sure everything is fine. Okay, so let's go to our MySQL. I'm going to clear this console and we are going to go to start a new uh, query and I'm going to right click and paste what I have on my clipboard. Okay, let me just check around to make sure things are okay. So I'm going to execute and perfectly well, it executed all the queries and we have all the scripts. So if you go to start procedures right now, go to start procedures just going to refresh we have our start procedures right here available in mysql so now we've we've transferred our database tables our start procedures now i want to give you two assignments find the database that contains views so let's take for instance here we don't have views we don't have any views but look for a database that contains views. Let's take, for instance, the mobile DB. Let's see if it contains some views. So we can see views right here. Also try to migrate the views across because I think MySQL also supports views, as you can see. And another assignment I'm going to give you is migrate the actual data. So let's look at the tutorial DB. There is actual data in the tables. So if we take, for instance, people, we will see that there are actual data of people in this table. So please, uh, the assignment I'm giving you is to migrate all the views you have and also all the actual data into MySQL. I'm going to stop here. This is how to migrate from MS SQL database to MySQL database easily with the help of ChatGPT. So if this has been informative for you, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave me a comment if you have any problem with the assignment I gave, and we'll see in the next part.